Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be continuing our adventure on our level 31 hunter tonight. So if you are brand new to the channel, definitely hit the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. We're going to be continuing our adventure to level 60 and then hopefully be doing some raiding at level 60. So yesterday we kind of left off in the middle of wetlands. We had just completed our quest, ran back to town. Looks like we are going to be continuing the Dragon Maw quest. I did place a few items in the auction house yesterday to see if they would sell. A few of them did sell and the others did not. I don't want to fill up my current bags with a bunch of stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and leave that in the, in the bag slots. And hopefully tonight we're almost about halfway to uh, 32. So hopefully we'll be able to kind of level ourselves at least the half a level that we require in order to hit 32 tonight. So we're going to go ahead and begin our adventure towards the Dragon Maw Catapult. So if you have not yet checked out the channel, definitely subscribe, hit the thumbs up button below, leave me a comment, let me know if you are currently playing World of Warcraft Classic, what class you're playing, and... That's it. Let's go ahead and start with going over our gear. Starting starting with the flying tiger goggles. Shoulder piece, we got these from a quest. Seven Intel, seven spirit. Not nothing fancy, but it beats the great items we were using. Ch chest, we or back piece. We did find a new back piece from a quest. One agility, six stamina. Some eight agility, fifty health chest piece. Down to the bracers. Nothing fancy. Five agility, nine stamina, gloves. 7 Agility, 2 Stamina, Belt, this is probably our worst piece of the greens that we are currently using, it just has the 2 Intel, Pants, 6 Agility, Boots, 9 Agility there, pretty nice boots, we've had a few other quest items that have dropped that are very similar to this one, and then we just have some random rings that we've acquired through questing, we do have a very nice 7 Agility bow, uh, Sword, so that's 14 attack power there. And then we did pick up our long red bow bow just a few levels ago at level 30, just one level ago. And we're going to be using this probably up until we get the hunter quest done or the big game quest done over in Stranglethorn, where we'll probably use that bow all the way up until 45 when we begin to do Mara, Maradin, and we get the princess quest for the venom bow, which we'll be able to use that until level let's help this guy out he needs to go by we'll kind of help him out okay so yeah we went over our gear and then at around level 58 we'll start doing stratham undead for the expo okay unknown macro option exists interesting okay so we've gone over our current gear let's go ahead and go over our current talents so we are leveling beast mastery you know the pet is going to help tank the majority of our damage and also kind of help produce damage along the way five out of five points into the improved aspect of the hawk we then went two points into the improved revive pet followed right by three points into thick hide once we had these the second tier filled out we immediately went into bestial swiftness Given our pet a 30% movement buff, it's sort of like a pre-dash to him really having dash access at 32. We then went into pathfinding, having that extra 6%, you know, almost 40% run speed, just being just slightly under the speed of a mount there is very useful. I don't know if I can go over this mountain or if I need to go back. It looks like I may need to go back here. Let's see, I guess I could have just used Eagle Eye. To check but nope there's no opening there I do have to go back and then once we had bestial swiftness and pathfinding we went five out of five points into unleash fury that four percent increase in straight damage per point and then after we had max unleash fury we jumped into ferocity where we put two points into ferocity and our we had just hit level 30. Instead of putting three points into ferocity, we immediately went into intimidation and then went back to ferocity now with our recent level at 31. So that is our current talents. 
and profession. We are leveling engineering and mining. So we do have engineering here sitting at 137 of 225. We have mining sitting at 136 of 225. And we have our first aid at 190. Let's see, we do have a quest back here. So we'll go ahead and make our way to, back here towards the back. And the quest turn in is somewhere over here. I'm gonna go ahead and switch now aspects. Oh, of course, got netted right in the dead zone. The bomb. There we are. And the quest looks to be over there. Oh, it's the catapult. Okay. So we got to clear out some of these guys over here. Let's see. So we've gone over our gear, our talents, and our current spec. I'm going to have to pull a few of these away. Nope, 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 nope. Bad idea. I'm going to go ahead and just pull you with a single shot here. Shouldn't draw anything else. Yeah, there's quite a bit of guys stacked over here. It's kind of... I'm wondering how we're going to be able to pull all those. I wonder if it's a group style quest or if I can just trap one and go. Okay. Let's go ahead and see. I'm going to pull this one by himself. Ooh, he's trapped my piggy. Okay, now this one, I might be able to get this one by himself. Let's see. And it works. Okay, get him. Leveling up our melee skills here. Okay, now this one, I don't think I'll be able to peel any of these guys. I think it'll aggro. If I hit this one right here, I think it might aggro. Oh, yep. There we go. Oh, jeez. I'm going to kill the caster, though. I said I was going to kill the caster, but I haven't killed him. There we go. Oh, that wasn't too bad. These guys being several levels underneath me helps a lot. And that's a wrap. And now we should be able to go in there and complete this quest. Might be a good idea to eat just in case. Physical damage is done, reduced by 10. So this quest is... Dragon Ball Cannibald. Okay, I'm going to leave my pet here. Run in and... Tag it here. Really got to get up on top of it, huh? Oh, there we go. Accept that. And we have to continue along our way here. I'm going to go ahead and skip some of these guys. I would like to get into the Arathi Highlands. But we shall see if that's going to take place tonight or not. Whoops. Let's 
So we are after Necrosh's head. Necrosh's head. And there is some tin over there. So we'll be going and grabbing up some tin. It's still green to us. That's very nice. Probably don't even have to lay a trap down. As long as I let my pet engage first, he'll get the aggro from both the main and the ad. And, oops. See the quest is right up ahead, so we can do a slash tark neck. Nope. N E K. Yeah, it should be the correct spelling. Oh, that's it there. And there's another one up ahead, some iron. Very nice. Ah, oh, these are slightly higher level. Okay, so neck is probably going to be around my level, possibly. Where's the iron? That's what I'm interested in right now. He looks like a caster shadow warden. He doesn't do much damage, though. Kill Mog Raku, ha ha. There he is, right there in the center of the camp. We'll get him in just a second. Let's go ahead and take out this camp around the sides here. Should make it a lot easier. Looks like you probably do have to clear this camp out before you get to the boss. 32, followed up with an arcane shot, and this guy should. Oh, he doesn't run. There he goes. Up to the top. Some nice orange iron. What the heck failed? That's it. Okay. Here we have a melee and a range. I think we can pull them up the hill a little bit. He's going to start to cast Shadow Bolt. We're going to go ahead and just pull them. So this one on the right should run into the trap. And the one on the left will just kind of kill. Silent Hitman. I don't would like to not roar into this guy. Okay. 
Oh, he's an elite. That will be interesting. What if I could just pull this one by himself? Yep, he pulls by himself. Looks like we might have to kite the elite then. So I'm gonna go ahead and just burn my mana down on this guy. And... Hmm... I'm gonna go ahead... See what happens if I pull this guy. Oh, that's not too bad. Just these two. We're gonna see how easy I can burn the boss dude, Harris. If I can burn him down pretty quick, that'll be ideal. But if not, then I'll just go ahead and start kiting down the hill to the left. Okay, let's go ahead and get our mana going here. That's not mana. Mana and eat an apple. And what I can do here is put a immolation trap here and we're gonna go ahead and send the pet in serpent sting get our rapid fire up mark them I guess I should have marked them right off the bat Ooh, looks like we're kind of getting him down. He's going to charge us. We're going to let him hit the trap. He's immune. He's running. We slow him. And finish him off. And mission accomplished. Oh, there's even a solid chest back there. And I missed what I wanted to hit there. Nice. That's a good... All the way back to Minthrow Bay. Now, I don't know if there's any... Yeah, they're just kind of flying through. I'm going to go ahead and hearth. Back to the bay. Instead of having to run that distance. We arrive here. And... Run out, turn the quest in, see if there's a follow-up, nothing sells, and let's feed our pet, so we'll feed him some of the stuff when he gets hungry. So at any time, if you guys are watching this on the repeat and you have any questions going over the game, of the gameplay if you guys would like to see something included definitely let me know in the comment section below or just tune in for the next stream i stream just about every single night after 10 or 11 p.m pacific time that is generally when i try and hop on none of them are really good for me but the main thing here i'm looking at is the sell price this one sells for 67 silver so i will be getting that it does look like it would be a very good weapon for a warrior or a paladin so very good quest to knock out the damages are 21.7 so definitely probably best in slot for someone who is not a range class so like a melee class like a warrior a paladin that would be really good for them so it does look like we've completed every single quest here in this area i am going to go ahead and continue north let's go ahead and repair our equipment and continue on so we've completed every single quest in the wetlands let's go ahead <laughs> wetlands complete we'll go ahead and mark that there at 11 30 
and we're going to go ahead and move forward. So I'm going to go ahead and put my tracking back on. And go ahead and make our way towards Irathi Highland. So we do have one quest to head over into the main base here. The refugee camp. Uh, where we'll probably spread out and do a bunch of quests here before moving into Hillsbrad. Actually, I'm not sure if it makes sense to do Hillsbrad now. Or wait for it just a little bit. It does look like... There's a good number of quests over here, and it actually it's actually a lower level zone. This zone is 20 through 30. And it's interesting that there's so many quests here that show as 34, 33, and so on. So interesting, interesting. And I know Torrin Mill is the horde area. This place is generally crawling with both horde and alliance, trying to do the Yeti quest, trying to do the mountain quest with the other yetis and inside the caves and such. I remember I was fighting alliance here on my level in adventure to 60 on my horde. I remember there's also a flight path up here, so we'll run up here. I'm not going to go run around the hills, Brad, yet. I will be doing questing here in the refugee point. And let's see, I know there's a, a flight path. Western Plague Lands, right there. And that's how a lot of players get to Scarlet Monastery as a lions. They fly up to Western Plague Lands, run along the side of the water. I think it's pretty crazy to have to run that way. Like Horde have a lot of the cream of the crop, uh, cream of the crop um, dungeons. So they have access to RFC really early on. They have access to Wailing Caverns, which I believe is probably better than VC or the... What's it called here? The Dead Mines. I see a lot of people call it VC. I think it's actually a better dungeon than Dead Mines. We have really easy access. Just taking the Zeppelin over from Orgamore to Undercity and just kind of running down to SFK. Very easy. We also have a really close flight path, Black Fathom Depths. We have a flight path right next to this dungeon over at Ashenvale. The Stockade, sure. The Alliance have it directly in Stormwind, but it isn't, nobody ever goes there for the loot. You're basically just kind of grinding it from 24 to your 30s. And that's basically it. It's very boring. Novergolan, I, I very rarely do this one, but... Both sides, I believe, have a teleporter to get you directly to the dungeon. RFK in the barrens directly below uh, one of the horde flight path there's really no close flight path for the alliance uh, directly so close we also have oldman badlands there's no direct flight path to the badlands for the alliance they have to fly to what's it called are we on the correct continent yeah we're over here they have to fly down into Loch modon and then run south into the badlands so, that's another one there in the Horde. Tanaris, everyone has access to ZF. That one basically sits there in Tanaris and everybody can fly into there. Maradin, that one's kind of like more Horde-centric because the Horde, the flight path is right there along the water. You just kind of run maybe two minutes and you're right there at Maradin versus the, the flight path for the Alliance. So this is in Desolence which is right there. So the flight path of the Alliance is way up here and the zone is down here, whereas the Horde, the flight path is right here, Shadow Prey Village. You just run one or two minutes and you're right there at the instance, very quick, very easy. And what's after that? Temple of the Hakar? Again, SOS. Who doesn't have a flight path in Swamp of Sorrows? So this one should be down here. The Alliance do not have a flight path here. The Horde do. They have a flight path directly in Stoneard, giving them very easy access into the Temple of Fakara. The Alliance have one over in the Blasted Lands, so you kind of have to fly into the Blasted Lands, make your way to the Swamp of Swords, kind of making your way by the Stoneard base, which, where am I going? I'm making sure, oh my god. See, this is what I get for talking. I was just kind of talking and just following the path. And we're on the other complete opposite side of the map there we're going over all the dungeons just how easy it is for a horde to have access to all of these 
So next we have Black Rock Depths. I think the Alliance and Horde, they basically share the same flight path area, so that one is not a problem at all. It, both of them have easy access to it. Lower Black Rock Spire, same thing. All of these have the same, you know, same area. You just kind of fly into there and make your way through there. See if I can get closer, see if there's anything over here as far as iron. I would really like some more iron or tin. And then we have Dire Mall. Now this stuff is for Rallis. I don't know if there's a flight path for the Alliance. Yeah, way the heck over here. So here, again, the Horde have one over in the early hills. You just kind of run really easy through the mountains here, through the underneath the waterfall, and bam, you're right there, very close. Whereas over here, you have to take a ferry across, kind of wait for it, and then make your way up a hill, a roundabout through here. And maybe, whoops. Okay, distance-wise, you're probably about the same, but you don't have that whole travel, traveling through the water to get to Dire Mall and waiting for the ferry. Skolomance, Skolomance, where's this one at? That is in, oh, Co. this is the only one that Alliance really has easy or access to, and that is because this one is located over in Western Plaguelands, and the flight path for the Alliance is just about there. So, okay, so the Alliance have one major dungeon and it's not even really good for hunters they have a bow in there the ancient crossbow or the ancient bow the ancient bone bow yeah these guys are just kind of oh he's gonna go f if he flies in a stone art and just kind of runs down that would destroy me but that's fine well, let's see here so scolomance is the only dungeon that they have stratham Okay, Stratham, Horde and Alliance share it. Really no biggie between both sides, so that is basically it. So you can see the majority of all these dungeons have very easy access for the Horde to just run in. The only one that really isn't, you know, make or break are the Skullamance. That's the only one. And if you're trying to get to Skullamance as Horde, I mean, I generally go to Eastern Plaguelands, and then run across into Skolomance. Another way you could probably get up there is from is from Torin Mill. Just kind of run into the Altrek Mountain, run it up north into the Western Plaguelands here. That may be another path. I've never gone through there. I don't see a whole lot of players do it. Most players fly into either Eastern Plaguelands or the other cities, and they make their way to Skolomance. It does seem like the Alliance does have more you know, fairies everywhere. You can kind of go in the world a little bit easier. Where's this quest over here? Is it in there? Target foggy. Put a raid target on this dude. Oh my goodness, how? how? You have to run and jump over there? Huh, interesting. I don't even see how to get up there. I can't run underneath this chain. Where's my pig? Oh, there he is. What happens if we run around here? It says there's a quest over there. Macreal's Moonshine. So if you run and jump there, I mean... There is a quest. I have no idea how you would uh, get to it. I'm not really interested in doing it right now. It's a single quest. If I jump there, I don't know how I would get out. And I don't have my hearth up. And I don't feel like swimming through the water and wasting a whole lot of time right now. We really, we're really we halfway through the bar right now. And we only have about another 30 minutes of streaming. 30 to 45 minutes of streaming remaining. So I really just want to get into... Some more questing here.
Let's see here. Pretty easy path. There should be a number of Horde and Alliance in this zone. Messing that up. Making adjustments, checking it twice. There we go. And we have arrived at town. Turn in our quest. Pick up all these other quests here. There should also be a first aid person. Hey, we got our fortitude. Very nice. Flight path. Not very many quests here, but let's go ahead and 31 and 36 and 36. So we're going to be heading up north here. Hmm, I'm wondering if there's a better area. If maybe we should do this one and then jump. Let's see what level these guys. 31. They don't have any nice skills. I'm surprised they don't give me like a raptor quest or a spider quest. There's so many of these mobs here. I don't see any other quest givers in this area. So we're going to run over to the syndicate quest. Some of these other ones might be a little bit too high level to complete. I know these are elite quests, I'm pretty sure. With their bark tusk. Tiny raptor. Oh, he's higher level than me. But quite a bit. Still not. No skills. I'm surprised they don't have some sort of bite or dash. That'd be really nice, but raptors in this game are pretty useless. I don't think you can even teach them dash. See, there's level 40 here. Whoops. What am I doing? Kill level 33s, that's ideal. Let's see, we are here, these guys are level 32. We get to kill 10 of these. So it doesn't seem like a bad quest here, this actually seems like a pretty even leveled quest. So it looks like the stealthies are along the outside, and those are the highway man's lanes, uh, the highway man. And then the ones that are not stealth are the mercenaries. Mercenary. And I don't see any horde here, so that's kind of interesting.
this is a nice, easy quest right here. Ah, Easter's. I've got quite a bit of aggro from these guys. Get this guy off me. Ow. pets are gonna die here. I'm gonna go ahead and bandage real quick. See if I can take out at least one. And now this last one I should be able to just kite. Of course I run out of mana. Okay, let's see here. Gonna bring up my Discord here. Yeah, these last few videos, we haven't had a whole lot of PvP. There was a bit of a gank early on in yesterday's video, but the. Let's feed on the watermelon. They didn't really attack me, I was running over there to do this elite quest, and the other team members were attacked and killed off. And by the time I arrived, I didn't see the rogue there. So he made his way through the team, and just kind of moved on, which is nice. does seem to have a lot of traffic there, so I'm not sure if the horde will be arriving. Oh, you got in the combat, huh? Real. I was asking the guild if there's any plans on starting a late night raiding group. So just like 10 or 10.30 Pacific time, I think that'd be a lot of fun. But a lot of the guys on the Pacific server are actually from the East Coast. Let's see, we're going to go ahead and move into the middle. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and go around the outside, finish up the highway, man. We need four more of these. majority of them are from the East Coast so I don't know how much longer I'd like to do some rating so that's the primary thing you're kind of playing for your level into level 60 enjoying some of the end game dungeons and content you can do with some of the five man but then if you want to get into a little bit more like molten core and so on Blackwing layer then you need to have those raid groups that will help you get there So I was talking, let's go ahead and minimize all this, I was talking to another guild on the server that does actually do or plan on doing some late night raiding which is something I'd be interested in.
I'm gonna go ahead and drink. Just makes the whole leveling a little bit easier. I'll go ahead and let my pet attack. Oh boy. I'll just let him go at it. I'm so no I'm in, I'm in combat. I'll let him die. I didn't see the other guys here. Oh, they see me. Interesting, okay. Let's see, let's see. I think I pulled aggro just from drinking. Drinking in, this, in classic seems to pull aggro. I know that was the case with Dire Maul. If you sit and drink, you can actually pull aggro off your pet. Get that one, I can worry about this one. Oh, resisted me. Interesting. Oh my goodness, you die. Oh, he's here somewhere. Let's get full life and mana. Level thirty nine. I don't know if I'd kill be able to kill a shaman. They can heal, they can shock you from long distances. They do a lot of damage. If they're elemental, they're stealth. Let's see, we need one more of each. Oh, he's up there. I don't see him anymore. But napkin. Nice, okay. Okay, let's go kill one more of these mercenaries. Follow me, Mr. Boar. Mr. Boar. This is our last one and checking. I don't see anything random. Bam, pet level 31. And we finish this quest. Let's gadazzle. I don't know why he wouldn't engage with. Oh, it's a warrior. Okay. I was like, why did he just shoot and then run in? I don't know why he would not charge. Okay. We can check out this quest right here. I'm not sure what level the mobs will be, but it's on the way. We'll go ahead and make our way that way. This Highland Thrasher has just as much life as I do.
Okay. Yeah, see, that takes half my mana bar just to kill this guy. It's not worth trying to fight stuff that's higher level than you by that much. Let's see if we can find... There's stuff that's dead over here, right? Oh, 32. That's not too bad. 31. Oh, why does it have a 36 on it then? We can definitely do this quest. I don't remember another place with these trolls. Let's, oh, you are now neutral with the Wild Hammer Clan. I wonder if that's positive or negative for me. <laughs> See, I kind of want to look for another guild that I can raid with and build some sort of, sort of social ties with, just kind of Officer note. That must be set that. Oh, great, he's here. We might get killed by this warlock, we'll see. It's too early to tell. Generally, warlocks just kind of run by just like the dot stuff and let people die. It's not a waste of time to them because it's just one tick. Drop one dot, one death. He may be inside of there, inside the cave. I wonder if he was just kind of running through. It looks like he was killing ogres, so. Let's see, we haven't got any of these tusks. Oh. Yes, this area. We can get these really in high population over here. So I'm going to go ahead and make our way down to the elites. I'm not sure. I'm going to go ahead and check out. Uh, this, that's the same quest as well. These tusks. So I know I can do them really easy over in this area. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I don't even need to be over here. So I'm going to go turn this quest in and then make my way down here. These minions should be around 30, 33 or so. They should be killable. And we'll probably work on killing them. We can we see can we have a number of them we have to kill. Shadow knife. Yep, that should be good to go. Let's see. 
It's another hunter the same level as me who was leveling in Hillsbrad foothills. Anything auto sell? Eh. We do get some new water type, which is cool. This quest, the princess trap. I'm gonna go grab it. I don't think. I think that's a quest over in this area. But I'm gonna go ahead and grab it. Eh, yeah, we'll grab it. Carrion bird. That's something I wouldn't mind having. See if I can get that screech. Oh, they have dive rank one, level 32. Yep, yeah. that level 32 is when you start to get screech and dive abilities. Level 31. Sweet. Yep, I want 32 right now. Not fight right now. Oh, okay. Another one over here. Two of them. This one looks to be AFK. Kill the AFK one real quick. Okay. We just ran up here to get the quest anyway, so no biggie. Now this quest, the Moat of Mazriel. That actually drops inside this bat cave. This is the quest I was talking about. I'm not sure if I'll be able to mine the items inside there. I'm going to go ahead and switch back to my mining. I don't know if the warrior, I'll leave him be. Ah, oh, we're going this way. Through all these spiders. Well, oh, there's a lot of stuff here. Lots of horde. Lots of horde. Surprised. Maybe this is a higher level than um, Stranglethorn. Dive rank one. Okay. Let's see what's kind of down here. I don't see anything. Oh, there's. What is that? Silver. Okay, so yeah, that's still green to me. 34 mage. Got a good number of items here. Yeah, I don't generally kill what I'm going to be questing unless they engage, and then I will fight back. But generally, I like to just kind of quest and not kill people when I'm questing so they don't want the craziness of having to watch my back constantly. Pull them to the right. Ooh, spider.
What? How are you not dead? Man. What if the mage log? I don't see him here anymore. Whoop, resisted. Oh, higher level, 35. Hmm. I don't know if there's anything else I can teach my... Nope, right now he has, if we go to our talent for our pets, where is it? Here. He has frost and stamina. Oh, he has all the main things, fire and frost at 60 with, those are the main. So if, if a mage frost novas, I'd like to think that the frost resistance will kind of help him there. Oh, yeah, he did get some aggro. Oh, he does hit him. Oh, he has three of them on him. We should be able to burst this guy down. And this guy will just send him intimidation. Man, not one tusk. There we go. Let's see, 33. I think the ones on the ri along the river are lower leveled. I want to fill my quivers with gold. Yeah, that mage may have logged. That's 34. That's 34. Okay, maybe the cave area is where it's higher level. Do, do, do. Thirty-five, thirty-two. We'll choose you. I don't want to just sit, I guess, we're not, let's see, winter bark medicine pouch. Where are these from? Too far away. Come on, baby, get them. No, 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 this one, this one. Oh, jeez. Oh, he had pulled anyways. Gotcha. Six, nice. Ooh. 
resisted. He resisted the uh, growl, but he still held aggro even though I was shooting him, which is very cool. I thought we would have pulled the other one, but I guess not. Nope, I don't have anything to stop that. Nine life left, boom. Ooh, there we go, what was that? Oh, it's just random. Witch Doctor, it doesn't tell you on the quest marker down there, but... Looks like the quest, the... Witch doctors drop those pouches. And we need a shadow hunter knife, which probably just drops off random shadow dudes. Whoops, I did not think I would do that. Ooh, there's some mining back there. Iron, awesome, awesome. That's what I want to find, some iron. We need as much iron as we can. The headhunter. I think that's the one that drops the shadow knife. We'll attack him in just a second. That's it. Iron seems to only have a few hits, like two, whereas ten and the other just seems to have a lot more. Boom. Look at all that. Oh, resist. And I don't have pain death. That's right. Run away from me. Oh, jeez. See this heal. Raptor strike. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and drink. Solo headhunter by himself, yep. Let's do it. What? Oh, what is that? Iron, another iron. Inside the cave, though, I'm pretty sure. Why, why, why would you do that? Multi shot for the loss right there. Fine, we'll run down. 
kill despawn and yeah we can go ahead and drink and eat Let's see. These axe throwers, they are annoying. <laughs> I'll send them in. Even if it means we get all the aggro. I was asking like the skill that I'm currently in if anyone is not currently raiding if they would be interested in raiding late now I'm still a lot of levels away from level 60 but it would be interesting to see if there'd be anybody interested in raiding late night and we're four bars away from level 32 When I, when I saw that drop, I thought it was a traveler's traveler's bag, but I don't think they drop until the high 60s, or until level 60, like in the 50s areas. The end game dungeons, I should say. 10 out of 10, okay. Now we need medicine pouches. And this says, this doesn't even tell me I just have to basically kind of just kill stuff until the medicine pouches drop. Axe thrower, axe thrower, headhunter. Whoop! What's that? A giant, <laughs> giant plane creeper. There's not really a good spot to grind here. Everything is higher level. It takes a long time to kill. My pet's having a really hard time just trying to kill stuff as well. I'd like to finish up this quest and then take off to maybe another zone that might be a little easier. Hmm. Let's go ahead and drink the mana that was up here, this one. But that was a dead spider back there, which would mean there's more people around me here. Okay, we're gonna go for this headhunter. I do need a hunter knife. And I also want to get that ore that's back there. So we're gonna try and go for this guy. He resisted. Intimidation on my pet, and he resisted that too. I'm gonna go ahead and just feign death, let my pet tank the aggro. Avoid the spiders back there and go at it. And of course. Nice, yeah, not even after me now. There we go. No hunter's knife. 
There is the axe thrower. Should we kill him? Oh, what's that right there? The witch doctor. We do need witch doctors. The witch doctors seem to be dropping the medicine pouches, so I'll go ahead and kill this one. Go for that witch doctor back there. I found another guild that does raid late nights. I'm not. I think I'm gonna quit this one and move towards building some reputation in the other one. Oh, that's it. See, two ticks. Two ticks, and it's gone. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and pull this guy out of the camp. intimidation on them. Oh, I have no mana. Pouch, yes. And now we just need our one more pouch and a hunter's knife. I wonder if there's maybe like shadow hunters that are somewhere that I'm just Maybe closer to the water over here. Oh, headhunter. Another one right here. The axe thrower feels gonna, yep. I think we should be fine. Oh, we got some aggro. Tomorrow's Tuesday. Oh, okay, I go, it's fine. Just an axe thrower. Come on. There, another witch doctor. Awesome. See if there's anything near him. I don't see anything near him. Yeah, Silithus is always a pretty high gankage area. I don't know if the Twilight people are out in Silithus yet. I don't I haven't been on Silithus even on my other sixty. The furthest I've gone down there is to is the Unguru. And then I went and got the flight path. What is that? Iron? Oh yes, iron is amazing. There's another headhunter over there. We'll make our way that way. I am gonna go oh, it's right here. Maybe take my node. <laughs> Can't fade it. <laughs> Paladin died. Should have bubble hearth, man. Oh no. Fell into the water. Nope, not again. Another witch doctor over there. Thirty three. This one actually had three, four. This is the most I've seen an iron deposit have. Oh, I thought I was gonna go for five. Hunter, witch doctor, cool. Looks like it's a patrol. So I'll wait for this one to kind of move away. 
and pull them back a little bit. What the heck? Charge. He resisted. Intimidation. He resisted my second one. That's okay. My intimidation has him. And nope. Ooh, he resisted my feigned death. Bring him to my boar. Die, he should drop my knife. He needs to drop my knife for all this work. Nope. I don't think I even got any loot from him. Let's see, let's go ahead and drink. We have some cheese to eat. Where'd that witch doctor go? Oh, yep, I knew it. Oops, they're missing too. Let's see here. Oh, this quest that we were doing down here is called We're in We don't even need to do these quests. We're never going to go back and do BFT. See? All this junk. Feed him there. Let's see. Oh, this one. Nope. This one. Okay, we need one more medicine pouch and the hunter's knife still, which I don't know who drops this thing, but we're going to go for the headhunter here.
it's its own knife. There's only so many guys here. There's headhunters, the witch doctors, and I think there's like one other one, the axe throwers. So there's four types of mobs total. One of them has to drop this shadow axe. Actually, I should read the quest. What if it's inside the cave back there? Let's go ahead and read this quest. There's a witch doctor I do need. Witch doctor. Okay, so... Okay, I need the following. Witch tusks, medicine pouches, and a shadow knife. Okay. Doesn't tell me anything of who to kill to get them, so we just kind of... Oh. I didn't know where you came from. But I'm glad you're here. There's our last pouch. So now I need the hunter knife. And I've killed quite a bit of headhunters, but I have not got a knife yet. Level 32 and a 30. There, join the new guild. This one actually does a little bit of raid nights at 10.30 Pacific time. So that meets my goal that I wanted. Hunter and headhunter. We'll kill this one first. Night Owls. Yeah, it's the only time we have to ourselves. Come on.
Midwest here. Probably more than other guilds. Come on, I just want one item. Just the one. Let this. No, this is the witch doctor again. Shadow knife. Shadow knife. Maybe I'm just calling the wrong kind of guy. Let's put track humanoids on and look for some other kind of minion. Oh, this guy resisted. Are we going to the cave? I do know where it is at. One party up. So it must be in the cave. They ran into the cave. I thought that was them. Oh, maybe it was someone else. It was a hunter. Oh, the Shadow Hunter. That's completely different than the Head Hunter. Oh, it resisted. Where did this guy come from? So the whole time I was outside killing, the shadow hunters are inside here. And that makes sense. Whoop. No, 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 Mr. Poor. Wait just a minute there. I better reset this when my partied. Oh, jeez. There we go, and... Oh, he's in here. Great, he's killing all the shadow dudes that I need. Whoop. Resisted. That's fine. Yeah, it's nice, this little group. We have the DPS, the tank, and the healer. Let's see if I can get this quest item here. Bam! Awesome. Just kind of stick around maybe, help these guys out. If we get to level 32, that'd be very nice. Let's see if I can get this other one off him. Just find a really helpful potion. Yeah, 
another shadow hunter. this iron back on and what? Oh. Okay. We got two quests to turn in, a bar and a half until level. We should be able to get level 32 and start heading into Hillsbred or maybe even Stranglethorn to be very nice to get that pet. So let's see how many we have this quest. Oh, I thought we had two quests to complete. We only have the one. Hmm. I'm over here. I'm maybe able to do this quest over here. These guys are gonna aggro. I'm gonna go see what level these, this side is. I know there's a back path into the cave, into the, in the little cab, cave back here. And there's a lot of mine opportunity back there, so I will head back in there. Hopefully I'm of the right level to get mine. Uh, being able to mine in there. It doesn't seem like it'd be too hard to just kind of grind out the level 32. Let's see. There's 13 members online now. A little bit less than the other guild, but this guild was mainly focused around raiding late nights at 10.30, so that's probably why well, it's a smaller amount of people online right now. Tomorrow should be raid day, 10 o'clock, and they'll be doing pugs because they're just trying to build out a population of raiders who are able to raid that late. But once they have a good amount of players who are capable of playing the hour, then I'm sure it'll be completely fine. Okay, here. Oh, these are level 36. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to do that. It's not going to be worth it. It'll just... See, this is actually the correct. This is correct. The thumbnail, the princess trapped. That is the correct. Skull over there. I'm gonna go ahead and abandon this one. Oh boy. And this road here has a lot of people running on it, especially high levels. There's a quest, storm. Oh, dead something on the ground. Oh, maybe not on dead on the ground. There's a quest over here, the storm grade b barrage. badges. Oh, badges. That could actually be really nice at level 40. Let's see, do a slash hill. We do have a number of people here. But it's a level 37 quest, so the mobs are probably higher level. Great. This guy's in a party too, which means he probably has friends nearby. Or he's AFK. Should we kill him? Uh oh. Yeah, that guy's gonna.
All it takes is one with a mount, and I'd be toast. Yeah. Not worth the honor right now. It's not even worth honor, so it's not really worth it. Otherwise, if I can get honor, it'd be well worth it just to kind of kill people when you're kind of walking by. And that's going to be the mentality in the future here. Okay, so we have... Interesting, you can actually sell this. Boom, ding, 32. Oh, there's a wanted board. Yeah, this sends me down to... Where is this sending me? <laughs> Alter, oh, these are elite. At the ref, bring the head. Oh, so this must be all down in here. Yeah, I won't be able to do any of these. I'm just gonna go ahead and make my way. Can I help you? That's the badges one. We're gonna make our way towards Hillsbrad. And we're at level 32 now, very nice. Oh, we have a quest point, talent point. Hmm, we can increase the damage or some give ourselves some regen. 1%, not really worth it, I'll just take the damage. That was my goal anyways, max out ferocity. With one more talent point, we'll max it out. Yeah, I think, I don't know, the quests over in Desolence, I think that's the 40 areas. Let's see. Is that Horde or Alliance? Oh, courier. <laughs> yeah, fifty plus. No, not the pet, not the pet. Boy, they all leash. I wonder how far they'll run with me. flying through. I wonder how 
long will it chase me for? The courier's dead. Copper. Whoa, oh, vicious bear. Oh, looks like they stopped. I'm not in combat anymore because I can go shut them out. I'm gonna go back and loot that. See if it starts a quest or if it was probably just part of another quest. House Brad. Slash who? A few people my level. Nothing, okay, dang. Let's see, at 32, I think I kind of want to go to Stranglethorn. I just wish there was some flight path that was closer to Stranglethorn. Hmm. I'll track mountains. Shadow Pine. We have no flight path in Shadow Pine. Trustful Plains. No flight path there. Who would that as a bite rank for? Nice. Let's see. We could actually do a number of these quests and still be okay. Ooh, 10. Man, what are you going to do? Make up your mind. I asked the uh, general chat if PvP was here and nobody answered, so it might be a little dead right now. It's almost one. I'm going to have to go to bed here. I'm going to be getting to Torin Mill and then I will be logging out for the night. Let's see, I accomplished my goal, level 32. Ooh, what is that? Actually, my next goal at level 32 right now is to get a cat real quick with Prowl and Dash, but I think I'll be doing it tomorrow. Uh, here in this area, I will be getting the flight path here, running up into Altrek Mountains, running up to Western Plague Lands, getting the flight path here. Hinterlands is also very close with the flight path, but it is blocked off here with, where is it? Torn Mill, Hillsbrad, here. There's some griffins over there. I don't know if the griffins are hostile to the Alliance. I know as a horde, they were hostile to me. Cower rank three, and that's it. Look at that turtle. Level 30 turtle, nice. Well, there's lots of quests here. I think this would be a really good questing area. And we're at 12 quests. Good day to you. I supply only the finest goods. You don't supply any goods. Greetings. Quest complete. We're gonna grab all these quests. Absolutely. I don't think I've talked to the flight master either, so he's up here. Oh yeah, right there. With the griffins. Oh yeah, this is more our level in here. Flight path. Let's see, five more quests. Looks like there's four available here. So we should be able to get all of these. Well met. Go with honor, friend. Let's 
Let's see. We don't have any more apples. that. And there's something over here that says soothing spices. Okay, we have to get some cooking vendor over here. Hello. Get some soothing spice. See what was this quest for? Soothing turtle. Okay, so it looks like we need to kill Soothing Turtle. We have to get turtle meat. Oh, okay. Thank you. Good day to you. Let's see. Safe travels. I do need to visit Stormwind or something to Soothing and turtle meat. Okay. Hmm. You need something? I am going to be keeping my pet or no? Hmm. Decisions, decisions. If I want this, I have to run up. I think there's an area up here I can enter. And then I can qu capture a pet. Let's go ahead and grab all this stuff out of here. And buy my stuff. See what I can send him. Not really too much I can send this guy. Ten bar, he can get rid of that. Wool cloth. I still need wool for my engineering. It's pretty much it. Everything else I just kind of have to keep. So we'll send that over to him. Hmm. Yeah, it's 1 in the morning right now. I'm going to be logging out. So if you guys did enjoy the stream, definitely hit the thumbs up button below. Subscribe to the channel. I stream every night. Or at least try to and hopefully we'll try and plan out some more events in the future so that is it thank you all for tuning in i will soon see you next time have a good day bye